So very far from your army jobs. Yeah. And at 17 and a half, at 17 I became a cabinet approver. Today they don't have it today. Uh, today they have they don't have the same. We had seven years, we had to train for seven years yeah. to be a fully qualified carpenter. For so many years as apprentice. And after two years you become apprentice approver. And after the approver you become a fully qualified carpenter. So at 70 and I was a carpenter's approver. At 70 and a half, I was called to the country to serve the country. Okay, so you were called, you didn't go yes. and enlist voluntarily? And from 70 and a half to 18, I trained as an infantryman. Because until I was 18, you weren't allowed to be a, a soldier. A soldier. You had to be 18 to enlist. So, what they was doing was calling for was sent in half. So when you got 18, you were ready to fight. You were ready to fight. So at 18, England was expecting an invasion. We were expecting the Germans to come in. So <coughs> I was trained as an infantry man, so I was put in the Welsh Battalion. And the battalion was all these men. We've gone to the coast in Suffolk, on the Norfolk coast. Ten o'clock at night, we would get along the coast. And that one night, I was number two in a machine gun. Right? Yeah. Can you understand? And laying there one night, and started to go to sleep, doze off. I was laying down, you understand? Laying down. Yes, I and <clears throat> early hours of the morning, I could feel somebody kicking my feet, you know? Yes, to wake you up. Yes. And I turned round, it was one of the brigadiers. And he said to me, you're on charge of field punishment, falling asleep on duty. And I said to him, no, sir. I'm on the word with the Lord. And he said, what do you mean I'm on the word with the Lord? And I threw the magazine box open, and we had no ammunition. Here we are on the coast, trying to, and we had no ammunition. Yes, a bit of a little problem there. So he laughed and walked away. 